The Chatelier's principle tells you that when a change is made to the conditions of a dynamic equilibrium system, the system moves to counteract the change. And remember in an equilibrium system, the rate of the forward reaction is equal to the rate of the reverse reaction. The Chatelier's principle says that when you increase the number of reactants, this increases the rate of the forward reaction, which increases products. Likewise, if you increase products, this increases the rate of the reverse reaction, which results in more reactants. You can think about Le Chatelier's principle in terms of levers. So on the uh, left, you see that you're, there's reactants and on the right, you have the products and they both have two spears. And this means that the lever is balanced or it's at equilibrium. But when you increase the number of spears on the product side, you can see that the lever is tilted to the right. So what happens is one of the spears will move towards the reactants and now they both have three spears on each side. And now you can see that the lever is balanced again or at equilibrium. And the same thing happens with when you increase the number of spears on the reactant side, one of the spears will move towards the product side. And again, they will have three spears on each side. And that means that the lever is balanced or it's at equilibrium. 